Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. In today's video, I was going to just talk a little bit, maybe a lot of it, about my um, exercise and what I eat in a day. And this video has been very much requested lately since about a week and a half ago when I put out a new lookbook. And thank you so much everybody for the lovely comments that you left below the lookbook about my figure and um, for your requests for a video on what I eat and my workout routine. I've been doing um, pretty much the same basic eating and workout routines for 30 years already. <laughs> and I started when I was 25. I'm now uh, 55. I'm going to be 56 next month. I can't believe it. I hate once you get past the fives because then you're like on the slippery slope to the next big O. And uh, yeah, sometimes the big O is a good thing and sometimes it's not. So I feel like I'm on the slippery slope on my way to 60, which there's nothing wrong with being 60. I hope to be a perfectly happy, healthy 60-year-old. Um, I just want to be the best me that I can be at whatever age I'm at, and I don't want to be limited by what my body wants me to do at that age. So, you know, I'm still paddleboarding, I'm still riding my bike, I still will go out and garden for a whole day, and I'm not really sore afterwards because of how I eat and how I work out. I've done three like what I eat in a day videos and believe me they do not change much from year to year. The last one I did was two years ago in 2016. Uh, I think that same summer I did like three little workout videos where you could work out along with me. So I have put that all together in a playlist. I'm going to put the link to the playlist right up here under this little eye and if you click that you can look at the whole playlist. You can pick and choose which of those videos you want to watch. There are three reasons that I uh, work out and eat the way I do. The number one that kind of started it all is bone health and muscle health and heart health. So I have hereditary high cholesterol. I get it from my father's side of the family. Um, I Mine came back over 200 uh, when I was in my 20s. So at that point I didn't want to go on the drugs and so I decided to control it with my diet and I controlled it very well and I still am to this day. One of the other reasons that I touched on earlier is because I want to do what I want to do. <laughs> I'm that kind of person. You know, if I want to garden all day or paddleboard, I just want to do it. I don't want to be limited by my body. So working out for me is a means to an end to be able to live the life I want to live. As you guys know, I am way big into anti-aging and diet and exercise is a big part of that. There is nothing better for bringing nutrients to your skin than getting your blood pumping. So I concentrate with my diet on eating things that help with my skin as well. And you know why I do the same things for year in and year out? It's because it's what works for me. If you want to be consistent about it, and you know, consistency is the key, it has to be something that you enjoy, that works into your life, that you like the food, you like the workouts, that's the only way you're going to stick with it and keep doing it throughout the years. I'm not an expert in diet. I'm not an expert in um, physiology or uh, exercise or workouts. This is just what I do. It works for me. I see the benefits in my body. I see the difference in my cholesterol numbers when I go to have my blood work done. And so it makes me happy to have control over that aspect of my life. All right, so let's move on to what I eat. Um, as I said, I have done those what I eat in a day videos and not much has changed. But basically my diet, as I said, is about keeping my cholesterol low. So in order to do that, years and years ago, like 20 years ago, I cut out a lot of the high fat foods. So I stopped eating french fries, potato chips, mayonnaise, beef, pork, and butter. And I've substituted in things with healthy fats like avocados and olive oil and a lot of um, fish with omega-3s and omega-6s like salmon. So there are ways that you can eat to help your body and to help you with anti-aging and the, basically those are the things I'm looking for are healthy fats that you get through those things. I'm also looking for antioxidants that you get through eating a lot of green leafy vegetables, a lot of nuts and legumes have antioxidants, of course green tea, dark chocolate, berries do, and so there's a whole world of things that you can eat to help yourself age better and and look better on the outside. And I go into all that in more detail in my videos. So the cereal I eat has changed. And um, last time I talked to you guys about my food stuff, I was eating um, great grain cereal. And that one had 13 grams of sugar. And so I've swapped in a new cereal. And the one I'm eating now is this Heritage Flakes. 
And this has five grams of protein per serving, and it only has, and it also only has five uh, grams of sugar. So I have cut my sugars in my morning cereal in about a third, but this is pretty much just flakes, and so I like to jazz it up with some other stuff. So I'll take a whole box of this, dump it into this really giant mixing bowl that I have, and then I add a little bit of this ancient grain um, granola that I pick up at Wegmans, and this has six grams of sugar, so I mix, you know, not the whole bag, I mix maybe just like two cups of this in with a whole box of the cereal, and then I throw in some nuts and some, you know, things that I like to give it crunch. So I put in some organic sunflower seeds. I don't get the, the roasted or salted ones. These are just the plain hulled ones. Those are great, no sugar. I get slivered almonds. I dump in a half a cup of those. And I also get the bulk pepitas. These are the little pumpkin seeds, also not roasted, not, not salted. I stir that all up in my big mixing bowl. I pour half of it back in the box. I put the other half in a big zipper bag in my cabinet. And that's what I eat for breakfast every single day of my life. I am not kidding you. And I love this. You know what I love about it? It gives me energy for my workout. And it also keeps me full until lunchtime. Now for lunch, I am eating exactly the same thing that I showed you in the previous video. So I encourage you to go over and watch that video if you haven't already. I have lots of recipes on my blog if you're interested in recipes. Everything is healthy eating. Any place that you would make something with ground beef, I substitute in ground turkey or ground chicken. I have gotten completely away from eating beef, completely away from eating pork. I don't really cook those or make those or eat those ever anymore. I still am eating a ton of fish, a ton of salmon especially, because a lot of the other fishes have the mercury buildup, and so you kind of have to limit your intake of swordfish and tuna fish. Then I'm trying to work in a vegetarian or a vegan meal once or twice a week. I'm really into tofu. There's a really good tofu rice bowl cauliflower recipe on my blog. Um, there's a great recipe for a vegetarian lasagna that's on my blog. So I have a lot of good recipes out there, and I'll put a link in the information box below so that you can go to my blog and find all my recipes. All right, and moving on to the exercise portion. Um, as I said before, I've been working out this way since my 20s, and I am such a creature of habit. I started back then doing these workout videos called The Firm. My sister and I used to do them, and I love them so much. I still do a couple of those, and then I just you know, work out at home with DVDs. That's what works into my schedule. I don't like to be on someone else's time frame. I like to just toddle upstairs to my little workout cave. I do my workout, it takes me an hour, then I go directly into my shower, and then bam, I'm ready for my day without a lot of extra muss and fuss. I work out three to four days a week. I usually like to exercise in the morning. That's just a more convenient time for me. Then once or twice a week, when it's not below zero, I try to take my dog for a hike up the hill near us, and that is really nice. It's like one mile straight uphill. She needs the exercise. I need the aerobic exercise. It's 15 minutes up, 15 minutes down. We're done. End of you know, aerobic workout for the day. So for me, the gym doesn't work, but I know for a lot of people it does, um, and it's whatever works for you. If you like to work out with me, I've made a couple of workout videos. Those are also in the playlist. There are three of those concentrating on different parts of the body. There's one for like your bat wings and your biceps. There is one for like your abs and your back, I think, and then there's one for the butt and the thighs. So they're each only 20 minutes long. You can mash them all together to do a full hour workout with me. I think I probably will make some more more this summer. I'm going to get that going. A lot of people say age is just a number. And age can be just a number in your head, but in your body, age is a reality. It's much, much harder to keep the weight off once you're over a certain age. I know that the weight, even if you weigh the same, it shifts around in new and interesting ways. <laughs> so if you are a postmenopausal woman and if you've noticed that you've put on weight around your middle, guess what? Every postmenopausal woman has put on weight around her middle, me included. And even though I'm doing the same number of crunches, <laughs> I'm not able to get that nice, you know, quite as flat tummy as I used to have. So, you know, it affects everybody. If you are at this point in life, you're 50 or over, and you're feeling, you know, heavier in the middle, and you want to do something about it, you can do something about it. But it does take discipline, it does take work. I would never try to imply that it's not work. The only way to lose weight, really, is to eat less and move more. 
together. And that is a commitment. It's a lifestyle commitment. And if you're at a place in your life where you just don't feel like doing it, that's fine. There is nothing wrong with that. And there is nothing wrong with the way you look as long as you are happy and you are able to do what you want to do. But if you find yourself spending a lot of time like hearing that voice in the back of your head, like being mad at yourself or berating yourself or feeling bad about yourself for what you ate or that you didn't work out, then maybe try not eating that and try working out and see if you feel better and if you can change that voice in the back of your head to instead of being a critical voice to being a positive voice that helps you to feel great about yourself and helps you to feel confident. I am not judging anyone but I'm just saying if you hear that voice in the back of your head and you are feeling a little self-critical and that you could do better then you know give it a try. If you need to switch around a lot, then switch it up a lot if that's what works for you. If you get bored and tired with stuff, then don't just completely quit. You know, just switch it up and try different things until you hit on something else that you like and then do that for a while until you get tired of that. But I don't think that you should ever, ever stop because it's so important from muscles to bones to mental health to heart health to skin health there are so many reasons to eat right and to exercise as you get older. So that's it for today's video, everybody. I hope you found it helpful and informative. If you did, give the video a like and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified when I put out new videos. So as always, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate your time. So have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.